furry friends and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be like an updated meet all my pets video but a bit different so i know i said in my video like reasons why it's hard to be a pet youtuber that i wasn't going to do many of these but a lot has changed and there's something i wanted to update you guys on that no one really knows yet i'm going to be announcing it for the first time at the end of this video and also i'm going to be showing just the pets inside um, I do live in a tiny house. It's like 400 square feet, so I have exactly 20 pets in this house. I'm going to be starting upstairs in my loft first, showing all the pets up. I'll be showing all the pets up here first, and then I'll move downstairs. Um, the only thing different about this video is I'm not going to be showing the outdoor cats. Okay, so I'm going to start with the guinea pigs first. I have two. This is my mom's guinea pig, Malachi, and this is my guinea pig, Toffee. They are almost four years old. They're going to be turning four next month, and they are both Abyssinian guinea pigs. Do you hear the noises he's making? Hi, buddy. Here they are. Do a like, little close-up of their faces. Malachi and Toffee. Okay, next is my fat tail gerbil Ophelia, and these guys are pretty rare. There's only five breeders of them in the U.S., and I actually have another one that we are trying to breed her with, and I will show him later. He's downstairs, but um, when we got her, I don't know exactly how old she is. We were just told she's a young adult, so here she is. She is a lot smaller than my male, but... Here she is, she's sleepy because I just woke her up, so, yeah. And also, fat tail gerbils don't get upset if you wake them up like a hamster. Sometimes they're awake during the day, but. <laughs> Next is my ferrets. They're really hyper, they were just playing. This is my ferret scout, and this is my mom's ferret weezer, and they're two and a half years old. Oh, you guys wanna get down and play, all right. <laughs> so this is Pebbles, my short-tailed possum. And I got him at a pet expo, and he's almost two. I have a video of me getting him. He's so cute. Hi, buddy. And he's the only marsupial without a pouch, so that's cool. Hi, buddy. So the next pet that I'm going to be showing is my rat, Angelica. I'm only going to be able to show her briefly because she is very sick. She has a pituitary tumor, which she's had for a long time, that makes her constantly bob her head around. So she's very hard to keep a hold of. I am going to try to wrap her in like a towel to keep her as calm and still as possible. But here she is. <laughs> I did have two other rats. So I know they're supposed to be kept in pairs. Like I said, I did have two other ones, but they recently passed away. And I'm not going to be getting any more. And I honestly don't think Angelica will be with us much longer because she's been so sick for so long. And I have a video explaining why I'm not going to be getting any more rats in the future. So yeah, I just wanted to explain that so people don't hate on me for only having one rat. Okay, the next pet I'm showing is my cockatiel cinnamon, and rest in peace headphone users. Maybe turn your volume down, because when he sees the camera, he usually sings a lot. Here we go. Here he is. And he's almost seven years old. Good boy. He can say his name. He says pretty bird. Can you say it? He usually doesn't talk on camera, but can you say pretty bird? I thought I got pooped on, but I didn't. Good boy! <laughs> Alright, next is going to be one of my tarantulas. I do have two tarantulas, but I will warn you later on when I get ready to show the other one. But just a warning, if you have arachnophobia, you might want to skip this part. But I... Oh, hi, Portia. But also, if you are scared, I encourage you to try to watch this part because I've helped a lot of people get over their fear of spiders because my tarantula rojo is so nice, so... Okay, so this is Rojo. She's a Mexican red rump tarantula, and she's almost seven years old. I raised her from a sling, and these are a very docile species, and especially since I raised her from a baby, she's very used to me. She's never bit me or anything. She's very sweet. Also, if you see this bald spot, this happens sometimes, and it grows back, so it always grows back, so don't worry about it, but yeah, she's very, very sweet. Don't fall, girly. Here she is. 
So I have two more pets, um, my last ones, that are in the loft before I move downstairs and show the rest of them. And they are my two mice, but I'm going to do them one at a time because they're very fast and hard to hold both at once. But they're sisters. Okay, so first is Minnie, and I'm not exactly sure how old both of them are. We did get them at a pet expo, and we will have had them for a year next month. But this is Minnie, and I will go get her sister now. And this is Jenna. She's like this pretty tricolor, and she was named after Jenna Marbles. And she has these beautiful, like, ruby eyes. And again, I don't know how old. So the first pet that I'm going to be showing um, downstairs is my snake. So if you're scared of snakes, maybe skip. But also, again, I encourage you to watch just in case um, to help you get over your fear of snakes. But here he is. This is Elliot. He's a ball python, and I got him at our local pet store. I think I've had him for, like, two years. I, like, he was pretty small when I got him, but I don't know, like, his exact age or anything. But he's getting pretty big. He's a big boy. And I named him Elliot because of his pattern. If you look here, this pattern right here, I thought kind of looked like E.T., so I named him after the boy on E.T., and here he is. He's a very sweet boy. You can see how long he is when he's fully stretched out like this. He's a good boy. So next I'm going to be showing my chinchilla. And I'm going to have to do this very quickly because he is very jumpy. And I'll only be able to hold him for a few seconds before he tries to get away and run around. So this is going to be quick. So here he is. This is Gizmo. And he's four years old. I've had him for around three years, but he was probably about a year old when I got him because he was, um, I was told he was older when we got him. Like, I think he was like nine months. So basically almost four or four. Whoa. <laughs> he's an active boy. I just put him up and he's running his wheel. So. <laughs> So next I'm going to be showing my scorpion. So again, if you're scared, I'm not going to be holding her because I never know what kind of mood she's going to be in. I think I've held her like four or five times since I've had her and I got her around my birthday. Um, so I don't hold her all the time, obviously. She's an Asian force scorpion, but I'm just going to show her inside of her tank. So I had to move her log so you guys can see her better, but here she is, and I do not know how old she is. I got her at my local pet store, but here she is. She's very pretty, and I do have a video of me holding her, um, like, when I first got her, so if you want to see that, you can go check it out. She just doesn't want to be handled today, and I'm going to respect her. Okay, so I'm in another room now, but this is my other fat-tailed gerbil, Kawaii. He is our male, and the breeder we got them from in New York is talking us through, um, like, how to breed them, the breeding process, since I've never bred an animal before. But here he is. You can tell he actually looks a lot different from Ophelia. He's bigger, and even his face looks a little bit different to me anyways, but here he is. So here's my hamster, Sugar. Um, he still doesn't like to be held that much as much as my other hamsters did. He's my only hamster I have right now. But he loves food, so I'm going to give him a little treat for you guys. Took it. And I got him in October. Did you take it or did you drop it? Here, let me give you another one. Take it. Oh, he patched that one. Okay, the last pet I have to show before I show the dogs is another tarantula. So here's another warning. So this is my last tarantula I have. I only have two. I used to have like four. But this is Dice and he's a Brazilian black and white tarantula. I got him for free at a pet expo. Um, this really kind guy, Simply Spiders, gave him to me for free. And he's molted a lot. He's such a big beautiful boy. And this is Dice. So I'm going to show you guys the dogs now, which I do only have three dogs now. And I also raised him from a spec. He was a really little baby when I got him. Also, he does have a bunch of hides. This is his other one. He was just under. I had to move it so you could see him. So, this is Chaco. He is nine years old, and he is a Jack Wawa. He's a Jack Russell Terrier mixed with a Chihuahua. I've heard people call them Jack Cheese before, too, but he's mixed with a Jack Russell Terrier and a Chihuahua. Um, I used to just think he was a Chihuahua, but he clearly is. <laughs> After I saw them and did research that I'm like 100% positive he's a mix. But I love him so much and yeah, he's nine years old. Here he is. 
you can tell look at him this is gia she's a chihuahua and she has diabetes so she does have to get insulin every single day and she's almost five years old if she looks like sad all the time it's because she is she still doesn't understand why she gets stuck every day and she's just been sad ever since her diabetes but yeah she still has a good life we love you g <laughs> And she also is sad and feels left out because she has to be on a special diet, obviously, so she doesn't get the treats that the other dogs do, so it makes her angry. <laughs> and the last pet I have to show you guys before I do, like, my announcement is my baby, my best friend, Portia. Um, I got her September 15th, and she was born July, Friday the 13th. And I'm actually wearing a Friday the 13th shirt right now. Did you just burp? Anyway, she's going to be 3, July 13th and oh do you have the hiccups uh, oh she does um this is portia portia bean oh baby okay so what i wanted to say that i haven't talked about yet um i've been waiting to kind of find the right time to say it but you might notice a pet that isn't in this video and that is kenta he was my leopard gecko but i did rehome him for a couple different reasons um I've learned that reptiles just aren't really like my strong suit. I don't feel as comfortable with them. I do, I am keeping Elliot obviously because he's very easy to take care of. Kenta was too, but uh, our pet store was almost always, always, always out of crickets and worms. So it was very hard to get him food. And it's easier with the tarantulas and the scorpion because they don't eat every single day. But Kenta needed those worms and crickets every day. And our pet store was always out. So I was always stressed, feeling like I couldn't take care of him right. Like, like stressed if he was hungry or not. And I wouldn't just rehome him to anyone. My mom actually knows someone who loves, loves, loves reptiles. Um, they're like her favorite. And she actually raises bugs and worms and obviously we can't do that like we've tried um so he has a great home and he never has to worry about like running out of food our pet store is really bad about that but yeah he does have a new home my mom encouraged me to rehome him so we wouldn't have to stress about that and i know he's in a great home with someone who loves reptiles and can provide him food at all times and like I said, she is a friend of my mom, so we keep contact with her and we know how he's doing and everything. And yeah, he's great and happy. But that is all for this video. Um, Kenta that you didn't see was rehomed. And the other pets that you didn't see, like Cash and Lola, my other dogs, they passed away. I have a video about them, so just know that any other pets you didn't see have passed. But that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a bit different than my usual meet all my pets videos i just wanted to show just the ones inside and yeah i will see you guys next week bye furry friends and also my comments are youtube still has my comments taken down so go to my community section and comment which pet of mine was your favorite